you have unconscious bias. It causes you to prefer the information you're expecting. It dictates what sources you will go to for information, and those sources tell you what you want to hear. You live in an echo chamber and repeat what you hear from the people you agree with. Your belief system gets continually validated by the company you keep and those you listen to. It goes without saying that your belief system is wrong. In the choice between an ultimately meaningless, chaotic existence where one person can't possibly hope to make a difference, and this perpetual pattern-seeking of individuals looking to imbue everything with significance and then try to save the world? You choose to live in the reality that makes you feel better about yourself. When it gets right down to it, I think you operate out of hatred and fear. You're afraid of the unfamiliar. You hate things you don't understand. You will reject, out of turn, anything that is foreign to your usual mode of being. You think you're being neutral, but really? You have very deep feelings about this. I can't trust anything you say because you clearly care about it. And so do the people who gave you that information. They're implicated too. You think you're only concerned with the truth, but you can't see how you and those who prop you up are bound by deep-seated prejudices and undiagnosed complexes. You're so clearly stuck in your own head that even I, as a person with no psychological training, can explain your mind to you. <laughs> if only you could see how ridiculous you look. You think you understand everything? But I understand everything about you. There are parts of you that you don't even know about, but everyone around can see plain as day. I don't have to deal with anything you have to say until you deal with yourself. Your facts are suspect, because I suspect you. You're not objective even when you're trying. You're a complex entity, and you don't know your own depths. Oh yeah? Well, so are you. And it takes one to know 